<laughs> All right, well, it's now time to go out to Tom, who is spending the afternoon at High V on Battlefield. Tom, what Easter basket tips does High V have? Oh, are you kidding? They've got tremendous Easter basket tips. Here's a person who's going to deliver some of these tips. This is the registered dietitian for hy V, Audrey Williams. Good to see you again, good Audrey. Good to see you. No kidding. I mean, we walked in here and it's like, oh, whoa. <laughs> this. I mean, you really have chosen, it's almost age specific. I guess it would yes. be age span specific. Yes, yep, I've got kind of a more kiddo um, Easter basket and I've got more of a teen and adult Easter basket with me today. Okay, let's let's start by talking about the kiddos, some of the suggestions that you have here. Yeah, so with Easter baskets, I feel like a lot of the times different kinds of candies or chocolates can be in that Easter basket uh -huh. for those kiddos, which is totally fine, but sometimes it can be so much that they can get so much of their sugar, even, even so much that it could be the entire month's worth of sugar. So well, well, yeah, when you look at total intake. Yes, the total the, intake. So yeah. I kind of have some recommendations here uh -huh. that talk about um, different things to kind of up fiber and some other things as well. So I've got some made good granola bars here. They are little strawberry and cream ones. These ones are really great too because they um, are free of the top 12 allergens. So oh, it's, okay. Yes, really great. If someone has any allergies or if an allergy runs in the family, it's a great one. And I would guarantee, yeah, you've put it in the kid's basket grown-ups like these too. Oh my goodness, I mean, yes. So it's like, yeah. Yeah, a lot of the times some of these items or even the items in the teen basket can right. be kind of flip-flopped. Yeah. Um, I also kind of recommend having some kind of item in there that is not a treat necessarily. So more of one that like a Squishmallow, maybe some Hot Wheels, and maybe like if you're doing an Easter egg hunt, putting some coins in there or even some dollar bills for the kiddos to find instead of it always being chocolate. Sure, sure. I, I've also got some some fun Annie's organic um, little bunnies, kind of on theme with Easter. It's got a little bit of protein and some fiber in there to help you feel full, especially if you're waiting for Easter dinner or brunch. Yeah. And then I've got some sodas in here that are Zevia brand. They are sweetened with a um, compound called stevia, which is from a leaf. Sure. Um, so it doesn't have nearly as much sugar in there. So it's almost like a little bit more guilt-free yeah. when you're at but Easter it, but time. But it can take care of the sweet tooth. Idea. Yes, 100. Yes. Okay. Kind of going over to this teen basket right here. Again, it can kind of flip flop. I know adults too really like their Easter baskets. We've got some non tree items like scrunchies. We've got some bath bombs that are Easter egg shaped. Right. And we also have some press on nails in there too. Just some fun things to kind of add to um, our more treats like chocolate and yeah, all that kind of but, stuff. But I mean, and you still have treats here. It's just not, you're not going with a, you know, a, whole thing of candy and and that that sort of you know that sort of road because I'm also uh, one of the nice things is candy goes away. Yes. You have things in here that will stay around for a while. Yes. Yep. These different kinds of things like the scrunchies or the squishmallows, the Hot Wheels, those are going to be around for the kiddos or teens to play with for time to come. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not just necessarily an Easter thing. They just keep keep going on with it. Um, some other things that I have in here, I have some Catalina Crunch, which is a cereal brand. It's higher in protein. In these little bags, there's about 10 to 11 grams of protein in them. Uh -huh. uh, you can just rip them open. They are Cinnamon Toast Crunch flavored and kind of just eat them. I like to have them that okay, way. Okay, big snack. Yes, big snack. Yeah. Um, and it kind of, again, with that fiber and that protein, it's going to help you feel full. Okay, now you, you mentioned both times in both baskets here, fiber important thing to keep in one's diet no matter how old you are. Yes, about 90 to 95 percent of Americans are low in fiber intake just because we don't get a lot of fiber high options like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. So kind of implementing some of these things that do have fiber in it help up everything um, yeah. at Easter time but then not at Easter time too. <laughs> yeah, and, and it, it's so important to remember that you don't have to eat something all at once. It's like you don't have to take card a cardboard box and eat it thinking now I have all my fiber in one shot you you have it in things and they're mm -hmm. tasty it's not cardboard there are a lot of good options and these are only some of the options that you have yes yeah feel people can feel free to come into high V, see all the different options they have and if they ever need any help they can come over to my office at the battlefield location to, so that I can help them in the aisles or anything that they need yeah you'll actually uh, kind of find a very personal, a personally suited 
shopping list for anyone. Yes, and even if you aren't in the battlefield, the Springfield area, you can definitely connect with me online through hyvee.com slash health uh -huh. and find me through the dietitians. All right, pretty simple. You can eat healthier for the kids, for the teens, for everybody. And when we come back, we're going to look at well, they're over there. Another <laughs> healthy choice that we have for you for Easter. You might think along a different route for a change, right? Yeah. All right. Back to you guys. Wait, Tom. So get some of that boom chicka pop. Because I assume you're putting together an Easter basket for me and for Blake. <laughs> and I want that in my Easter basket. You know what they say when you assume. <laughs> I'm not assuming. I'm asking. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Tom. We'll see you later. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye.